And hello, everybody. It's your online singing coach back today with a new reaction. Today, we are back with Anne and my Kondrite for the second time. Tom Steiner was so interesting, so unexpected, so hip, and uh, I just couldn't get them out of my head. Ha ha ha. Yes, that's where we're going today. We are going to Can't Get You Out of My Head, and I am excited to see their interpretation of the song because it's obviously going to be different. All right, without further ado, let's check it out. such a great groove. I love it. Oh gosh, this is so, so awesome already. Uh, okay, so we have a different band here today with On and My Contrite than the last one. We've got Parcels here. First singer. Again, just, just these, these guys, just, these guys have such a huge contrast in their voices. He's got a real light and clean voice, higher timbre, not any weight to his voice, very smooth. It tucks into this groove so nicely. It feels um, coffee shop-ish, meaning it's not demanding too much attention. It's just setting that mood. Also, from the very beginning, we started with those harmonies. We had several different parts happening on the la-la-las. I really liked that. And then we get to, to our boy Henning with his raspy, gritty, rough voice. It's so, it's very, very distinct. <laughs> it's such a night and day contrast from the first singer. They're just like two different planets. <laughs> I like how he had some melody changes. And then then um, we, ju we just had some cool harmonies again. The, the lead singer of Parcels, I need to learn his name. He was way up there on a high harmony. All right, let's keep going. Whoa. there. We had a kind of duet action happening in that verse. 
yes, the, the two voices, I wouldn't call it a great blend. And that's okay. These are very two distinct singers, very two different points of view with their voices, uh, very different artistic um, identities here. So trying to create a perfect blend really isn't necessary for this. It's two different bands coming together on one song. Okay, what's happening next? Stay forever and ever and ever and ever. in 20 seconds or so was so cool. They each got to add a little jazzy flavor, some some cool improvised lines with some pretty sophisticated riffs happening. It's nice to let some of the band members have a have a moment where they can do their thing too. I wanted to just like compliment Henning also on when he when he is doing his la la la, he's got the lowest harmony and it it's noticeable partly because of where it sits in the mix, but also because of where it sits in the EQ spectrum. But what I love is he's not, he's not using his raspy, soulful lead vocal voice there. He's, he's singing in his background vocal voice there. I appreciate singers who will go back and forth. Some people are used to being in the spotlight and they just sing loud all the time. Now, what I mentioned earlier when they were doing the duet and how they, they didn't exactly match up in terms of tone. In that situation, that's okay. We've got two soloists, as I said, two artists staying unique to their own artist identity. But when they are all singing in the la la la, they're not trying to be like, hey, this is my show. They're trying to be like, we're all in this moment together. Um, these guys are really good at creating a vibe. Don't you agree? Right away, as soon as, as soon as the band kicked in, I'm already like, oh, this is cool. Oh yeah, I'm here. I just wanted it to continue for like 10 minutes. So blah, blah, back to Henning at the end there in his last couple solo lines, he's down in that lower octave and he's, it's the end of the song. He's choosing to kind of wrap it up. Sometimes it's also very powerful to bring it down and bring people in. That's what was kind of happening with this song at the end. The, 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 the instruments finished and then the voices finished. And it was like coming from here to here to here. And that's the end. Let's pop back into it and select a few spots to highlight. Everybody starts together. Here it comes. so well like this from like a, a dance pop song to this kind of like chilled 
jazz influence indie pop song that's that's compliments to the writers this is just a great song with that la la hook I just can't get you out of my head with his voice. Oh, there's a lot going on in my head right now in terms of analyzing his voice. I'm probably not going to remember everything I wanted to say about it. But first of all, like there's a little, I just, there's a nice little staccato there in contrast to these longer, da 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 See, it's low for me. <laughs> also, he has a little vibrato that happens here and there. It's a fast vibrato. I really like the sound of it. You've got lots of flavors with his voice. I mean, the big flavor is the rasp. But yeah, when that little vibrato pops in, it starts to soften the rasp. The whole package of his voice, it's truly unique. It's a voice that not everyone in their mommy or daddy has. <laughs> it's a very, very unique voice, and I really love it. Oh. stylistic elements that he's doing here on this won't you stay now it could be actually that the keyboard player is taking over on that part now in this falsetto range
Yeah. So fun! Yeah, these guys have a really, really cool vibe. Both bands, they all work together so well. The instrumental was awesome. Right away, got me with an awesome groove. The little jazzy overtones, not full on jazz, just little moments, like that instrumental section, I'm like, yeah. The explosive vocals from Henning and this, this mellow, smooth, clear voice of the Parcel singer. I would totally listen to more from Parcels based on this video. And as you know, I am already a fan of On and My Kontorites from the first one. This one has made me even more of one. Um, I'm curious. What are your suggestions? What, what's another awesome cover of theirs? Or what's their big original song that I need to hear? What's their newest song? What should be the next reaction? Let me know. Hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.